And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Von Yip. Now we have, this is something a little different. We have two different versions of Lulu Von Yip, which is gonna be of course Lulu and Professor Von Yip together. Now our, our two versions, we have one with Vi and one with Shen. And these these were donation decks, the person that donated for them, um, you know, donated twice to see both of them. So we're gonna play three or four games with each version and we'll kind of see how they go. They're, they're a little bit different. They're not completely the same. So we're gonna start with uh, our first version here with Vi. Um, as you can tell, we got a lot of one drops with Flower Child wanting to be supported. Pix, I think Pix works pretty well with Von Yip. If you can have Pix be a 2 3 instead of an 0 1, that makes that card a lot better. But then, of course, our Poro Cannons. It's going to be my first time playing Poro Cannon with the Daring Poros. Um, you know, Jury Rig, Zonite Urchin. So lots and lots of one drops. Um, and we have some more challengers with the the flame chompers which those work great with lulu so you know lulu can either make these one drops into four fours or professor von yip can make them into three threes they kind of work well together like that and then we just have vi at the top end which is a great challenger um we got the barrier vi combo one ghost in here to give something elusive like give vi elusive for example or maybe lulu um i do kind of feel like that maybe sumpworks map would be better than ghost as a permanent elusive, but I want to play the list as is. I've played a lot of Sumpworks map. It'll be interesting to see how Ghost works out with the one uh, mana. So, um, all right, so let's play some games. We're going to go play over in normal with our meme tier Monday. And like I said, we'll play three or four games, depending on how, you know, kind of how long they are. And then we'll go over to Lulu Von Yip uh, part two with Shen and play three or four games with that as well. All right, well, Young Witch into Lulu is awesome. Um, I can honestly see the ghost being pretty good at giving the Lulu elusive. And I kind of like having another Young Witch. We just want to level up this Lulu super fast. I think that's my game plan. All right, see you, Ghost. Well, the Ghost did good. <laughs> okay, okay. My faith protects me. This way. Of course, our young witch can give Lulu. Um, Quick attack. I've got your back. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Woo! Look what I did! Please turn me back! All right, so it'll, it'll have quick attack. And even if they have like hush, it'll still be a three, four. Nice, down to eight. Good amount of damage in there. All right, well, got them down to eight. I think I'm going to discard. Huh. We discard. Discard Thermogenic Beam? What are they playing? Leona, Aurelian Soul? I don't really know why I would play the Young Witch first instead of just doing that first. Alright, gave my 
I didn't play the Daring Poro. Gave myself a chance to um, draw. Give myself a chance to draw the Professor Von Yep. Doing this my way. Can't do eight damage, can we? Behold the sun's holy light. Make this five power. This way. Oh. That should be eight upstairs. Yes, it is. That's eight elusive. Tremendo. Perfect. And they're at eight. GG's. That was a pretty cool rummage, how our rummage drew us Lulu and Von Yip in our Lulu Von Yip deck. 1-0. and GG's. Yeah, there's a lot of pump to go along with a decent amount of elusives. That's one thing that the new set did kind of bring along is more elusives. Like Targon has a bunch of pumping with the power and stuff too um okay okay we do have von yip now it's von yip's kind of slow i'm gonna take a little bit obviously against our opponent's deck i think um dang Do you think Thermogenic Beam's a good card? This is kind of rough. Just wait until, like, turn 5 and then start playing a bunch of 3-3s? Three or start play playing a bunch of little 1-1s one right now? Wow, well, now I look silly for not discarding either Professor Von Yip or Thermogenic Beam. If I discarded either of those, we would have had a backup. I was thinking we'd draw another Poro Cannon. Four Trundle. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad they didn't have turn four Trundle with Elixir of Iron backup. That would have been rough. Find humans! Make them flat! Three five right generate. So open attack would stop, you know, like Avalanche or Ice Quake, like that kind of stuff from hurting me. But I could also go Urchin, which is going to be a 4-3 into Flame Chomp, you know, discard Flame Chompers. 
I'm gonna do that. That gives me five mana for Thermogenic Beam if we need that. That was the. Uh, I was hoping it was an Ice Quake. Avalanche we could handle better. Ice Quake was definitely the problem. Is that a family frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Ramp! You don't mean to say hello. Hello. This way! Ugh, now her friends glow! Ice Quake was the tough one. That's why I didn't play the Daring Poro and let, you know, I didn't want to let them play a good blocker for the Flower Child. Okay, we got two Get Excited. Well, they just had Avalanche and not... Hmm. Still not doing nearly enough damage. If only they just have had Avalanche. And not Ice Quake. Yeah, now they have the Avalanche. Alright, well, we're trying to get extra games in anyway. So, no reason to continue playing that. We can't do 17 damage anymore. It's like, I don't know if it was like a response to burn last format, but the, the amount of Nexus healing they just put in the new set is pretty silly. And we never have our cards to discard. We always have our Things that reward us for discarding, but not our actual cards to discard. Yeah. 
Well, hopefully we draw one of those. We're, we're going to just discard whatever we draw. All right, looks like it's Ghost. We're playing... This deck has three Jury Rigs and three Flame Chompers. So we are playing cards that we want to discard. That is a thing. Of course, we can just have the two Poro Cannons. Just, you know, have one Poro Cannon discard another and turn it into two... <clears throat> Daring Poros. Alright, there we go. Here I, am. Wherever here is. I like them not knowing about my Flame Chompers. Like, maybe they play their own Lulu. Zenith Blade. Okay. That's kind of random. Yeah, Lulu, Lulu plus Flame Chompers. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What's up, Frostbite? No, probably not. No, I don't think so. I have moved on. Yeah, I mean, Cabo Frostbite knows about that. Crossbow is an old old viewer from MTG, but um, now nah, moving on to Rune Terra. All right, Callista Elise. I mean, these are our powerful cards, but I don't know if we can keep all the powerful cards in our opener. Probably need to do some mulliganing, which I guess is the vine. We are a Lulu Von Yip deck. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frostbite. <clears throat> well, well, no reason to play this 1 1 right now. We'll wait. I mean, I guess I could have played it and killed the Bark Beast. These old eyes still see far and clear. I want to wait to actually make it a 3-3 from the Professor. In Avarosa's name! And now it's just not reliable that it would be a 1-1 one, one that would trade with the Bark Beast because they could have Glimpse Beyond. Dang, this was a really awkward draw. Like, we don't have very many 5-mana cards, but look at our last four draws. Deep Meditation, Vi, Vi, Vi. That's insane. That was pretty rough. So I think at this point I kind of like the jury rig as surprise blocker for Callista. I'm glad I I mean I'm glad I didn't block there. I'm glad we have this jury rig to just kind of surprise kill the Callista. Right now. Gosh. Safeguard our homes. These are the worst draws. I'm not no I'm I'm full on my schedule for today noise. Um 
Well, I mean, they who endure doesn't matter if we're already dead. We have to at least survive and and everything. Alright, so now deep meditation is going to cost three. Hmm. Yeah, I wish this ghost was Sunpark's map. We could maybe try to give this by elusive over multiple turns. Um... Right now it's seven. You know, like eight, nine. Just can't quite make it to ten. Maybe I shouldn't even play the Vi. Maybe, yeah, honestly, maybe I shouldn't have played Vi. Maybe I should have just gone Daring Poro. I think I discarded the wrong Vi. I'm not sure if it's going to matter. But I think I discarded the one I discarded had one extra power than this one, I think. Played two vile fees. Safeguard our homes. Lulu support that thing. I tried Little ghost I... this. And that's 17 elusive damage. And then I also have the vault breakers Perfecto! in case we need them. Look out for Reavers. So in case they have a removal spell. We have three Vault Breakers, we can do another plus six. Elusive Eye. Maybe they just have Vile Feast and gain a life. Don't make me flip I like Jack the Winner, I think, you. sorry, Plan... Uh, Platinara. Jack the Winner is really good. Um, a 5-6 body for 5 is, is awesome. That's a, that's above the curve. The trades with a lot of other 5 mana cards really well. And then, you know, has just the ability to get you 3 mana cards. Nothing wrong with that. 
That could be another card to just play in a rummage deck. Hello. Get, you know, those free cards and then rummage them away. All right, so our first version of Lulu Von Yip going really well. Um, it's only 25 minutes. You know, what? let's play. Let's play. Let's just play a fifth game. I guess we're we're three and one already. Yes, yeah, so we may just play. We'll just play all five with this one. Oh, this was our loss earlier. Hopefully, we don't get ice quaked again. All the one drops, but not the cards that reward us for um, discarding. So my plan is to try to go super fast. with one drop into double one drop. Next turn we could have like Pix and Flower Child. Turn two Pix plus Flower Child is pretty nice. And then open attack. Oh, this is only plus two plus one this round? Not even permanent? Gosh, that card's already... That card's worse than I thought, and I didn't even think it was that good. <laughs> that card's way worse now. Oh, man. Okay, so if I... Mm, love open attack. I think I just... I think the game plan is they don't have... I think my best game plan is maybe they don't have Avalanche. That's my best game plan, is they don't have Avalanche. Good, no Avalanche. Alright, so... You... Support... You, and you support you. Mm, other way around. Use for you. And use for you. Can't hurt trolls. Let's talk about your dad. Man, Pix is not very good. I thought that was a permanent buff. Bad. That Vi would have been useful. Ice to, meet you. Ah. Ice to meet you too. Sir Trundle. Of course, these daring poros would be good. Hmm. 
to have for the elusive bodies. Um, I just don't have like a ton of cards that I want to discard. Okay, so come on, Rip, hit him where it hurts. Slow down, eat this. So I'm down to nine. I don't know if I need to play Daring Poro before. Sorry, I know I'm t playing a little bit. Like, I could play Daring Poro and get rid of, like, the Zonite Urchin. Um, and have another elusive attacker. But then they get they get to, you know, play their stuff. Their slow speed stuff. This deck plays defense really, really well. My opponent's deck, that is. A difficult one to... Uh, finish out. I'm glad we didn't play that Daring Poro. Now it can be a 5-5. Five five. Potentially. Me here and ready for fight! Ha! Now whole hunting party here. Avalanche is really good. Follow. God. Leave your bags in the door. Is get excited? It's half kept be being awkward. Already, like the deck has so much like Nexus healing. Do you, do you really need do you really need Kindly Tavern Keeper? Also, it's it's like when is it too much? So they do behold an 8 plus cost card because it was granted regeneration. We don't necessarily see an 8 plus cost card anywhere. Obviously, I was really hoping for another elusive. So close to killing him. 
it's not that close. Not that close at all. All right, well that looks that looks like a tough matchup. So that was both of our losses were to the same deck. All right, so that was our first version of Lulu Von Yip with Vi. So we're gonna try another version. Of course, I'll have both of these lists up on uh, in the YouTube description. So now this is a U Lulu Von Yip Part Two. Similar stuff, but now going barrier heavy. And carrying out Greenglade Caretaker, going Key Guardian, uh, going Barrier Heavy with Shen. A couple progress days for some card extra card draw. Progress day is a little awkward with Professor Von Yip decks, right? Because like if you have a Von Yip and you know, like if you go progress day, it reduces the cost, then it turns these one mana cards into zero mana, so then they don't get to the bonus with Von Yip. Um, but it's also just kind of necessary with all the card draws. So let's try this next version now. Part two. Um, so we went three and two with the first one. So we're still going Lulu Vanyep. Hmm. Actually, let's keep Deny. Deny seems pretty good against these decks filled with avalanches and ice quakes and stuff like that. This time we actually have a jury rig. I kept the jury rig because, you know, we're so used to having all those things to discard. Um, but we don't have any of those things right now. So maybe we'll draw a Poro Cannon or an Urchin. Or more jury rigs. Definitely drew a lot of really awkward cards. So I guess I go Professor Von Yip next turn and then just play two 3-3s three with the jury rigs and attack with those, I guess. Grant Dragon Allies plus one plus one. Don't they have to be in play for that? Am I crazy? Don't they have to be in play? Oh, I see. I guess, yeah, because that's shared spoils. So yeah, that did even, they just wasted a card. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're gonna win or anything like that, but it's wasted a card. Ooh. Now we talking. Let's go, double Von Yip. Perhaps we should. Now we talking. I am one with the land. <laughs> Five six. All right, so I have nine mana. The balance requires a watchful eye. Looking into the future, I see purple. I guess it's probably just not even worth attacking with Shen, is it? Intruders. I shouldn't play the Shen. So yeah, one of these was bumped up by Omen Hawk, the other one by Shared Spoils. Ouch. At least that card did something. 
That one hurt. My father's blade. Well, we'll do the obvious. When you go stand united. We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. Immediately. Cool. Nature blesses her followers. Don't need to let them know about this jury rig that I'm about to have that I could attack with. Don't need to let them know about it. Why is this one? Shared spoils also? And that shared spoils is pretty clutch. All right, fair Vlad. Have a good one. Move something that puts the invoke unit that makes written in the star so you can pull champions. Oh, yeah. You're, okay, you're talking about a different deck, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to just go ahead and go to attacks. I know we could play this Professor Vanya first, but I want to just be able to go to attacks. And we are going to barrier... I guess the Greenblade Caretaker. I mean, they just throw the 1-1 one, one in front of the Caretaker at that point. Um, and then... I mean, I guess that's fine. It must be done. Who would trespass here? So here they can kill my caretaker with the 6-6, six, six, but then they can't kill Shen. The balance has been maintained. So basically they get to choose. Her kill Shen or kill my 13-6. I can't real like if I barrier the caretaker, then my Shen is 100% dead. By burying burying the 5-5, five, five, Shen's maybe not 100% dead. Plus, it means they can't have, like, some spell that, you know, kills my Shen and they get to kill this, block this 5-5. Five five. And that kind of stuff. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing, too, I suppose. That's what I mean with the Green Glade Caretaker. Cause zero. But doesn't get any any Professor Von Yip buff. I didn't play it. I didn't want to. Hmm. Like, are they they got to be attacking with a really soul, right? Alright, maybe I'll play it to just block. We each defend our brethren. I want that spot. Right? Like, I want to be able to play this other stuff. To the stars. So that's 18, so then this is 19. Get back. 
Not enough to level up. Like this? A really in soul. So I go. Very risky indeed. Nature blesses her followers. All right, hoping that this will kill them. You abject failure. Come close to it. And we have a deny if if we can deny anything, but we know with the new set every every single card is either burst or slow, so slow they wouldn't be able to play anyway, so then it'd just be burst. But there are no fast cards anymore. So Deny can only counter slow spells these days. Cool. But still force them to have a burst spell. Alright, wanna know. Everything as it should. So you think I should have blocked yeah, so the, whenever whenever they attacked with the Rillian Soul, I could have blocked with my one drop and killed Aurelian Soul, but I also do feel like the one drop was better than Aurelian Soul. Ooh, what do we get? It's crazy, but that's just the upside of got a mountain goat and 750 shards. So that would have been a champion. But I have all the champions. Um, that's kind of the upside of, of Blighted Caretaker for a one drop. It can actually be better than Aurelian Soul. <laughs> it's crazy. Right, that was weird. All right, all Freljord with Trundle. We're playing against a ton of Freljord Trundle decks. Um, that one, I guess, the last one that we just played against had Braum, not Trundle, but this one does not have Aurelian Soul at the top end. Definitely want to get rid of that. Definitely want to get rid of this. Um, I guess I'll just get rid of that with it being the four mana card. Yay! Jury rig. Jury rig best card. All right, we gotta pray no avalanche. All right, y'all. No avalanche. Footprints here. Alright, so one of their five cards, at least. At least one of their... Oh, man. Man, I need that Flame Chompers. Hmm. Oh, look, Luke. I need a Making sure they can't can't uh, kill my Lulu. 
with the block. And then I just pumped up the bigger thing. Or the smaller thing. Oh, poor O'Cannon. If I would have had you last turn, I would have just had you last turn. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. We're going to Poro Cannon, discard this thing. We're going to put in Jury Rig. And let's go. Alright, so this will support. Alright, so Lulu's about to be a 3 4. Turn something into a 5-5. Five five. So I know I could I could turn the flame chompers into a five five for as far as challenging Trundle is concerned, but I think instead I'm just gonna I'm gonna let them keep Trundle, challenge it with the O2, and just put all this pressure on them with all this stuff, try to attack their life total. So this would put them down to six. And of course, I'd have these daring poros with the Professor Von Yip in the background. Alright, they take eight, go down to four. Alright, well now... With them trying to kill my daring poro, or kill my Professor Von Yip. We're gonna do that. We'll hopefully put him down to four. I do have four elusive damage next turn. I guess I have, I have even more strikes than this thing. I uh, gotta block one of these. I'm not going to just play my other Daring Poro immediately because of, like, Avalanche and stuff like that. Ugh. Alright, well, now we can. And Flame Chompers isn't doing anything, so we can just keep our spell, keep that discard. Maybe we find, like, a Get Excited. Or an urchin. Um, all right, let's get more information. Okay, so this will support that, which will support that, which supports that. So we have eight total damage up here. They're at seven. Um, 
You're going to barrier. Yay! No frostbite. Okay, bye. Two and O. Oh. Our other Lulu Von Yip part two. Two and O oh with this version. All right, so this will be interesting. Now we're playing against something else. We're playing against a deck that's trying to kill a bunch of small units, and our deck is trying to play a bunch of small units. But it doesn't sound like that's a good combination. Awesome. Love having something to discard for the Get Excited. One to keep Get Excited basically because of these champions. This can kill both those champions. Yeah, so we're playing two different versions. One with... One with Vi as our other champion with Lulu, and then this one with Shen. These woods um, their the own. person that donated donated for, you know, donated twice for the other versions. So we're we're playing a book. And they're both going pretty good. Who goes there? Um, slightly worried about. Cool, that's not so bad. So worried about. Um, Dreadway Deckhand into Make It Rain, killing both caretakers. River Shaper? You're in this deck? We haven't seen you at all. They've had two Mystic Shots so far. I thought that if I played River Shaper, there's a good chance they had Thermogenic Beam. That's maybe what they're thinking about right now is Thermogenic Beam. Um, Don't make me flimidify you. So I can just play Jury Rig out of the chute and then attack for four. Gotta play this. I'm not greedy. My friends though. They have a ton of cards over there. Me not so much. <clears throat> Probably not going to be go great for me. Ooh. Now we're talking. Sure, you can nab some cards that aren't as good as your cards, that's for sure. So they took my Get Excited. They also just discarded my Urchin. Definitely very glad they killed the Lulu. A game. Go on then. River shape the land and give it life. Let's attack. Ooh, I love that card. Don't touch that. Ever consider a henching career? Where are you going? The third mystic shot? No. 
not third mystic shot. Well, the thing is, is like, if I, you know, River, like, they're going to be able to block one of these two, River Shaper and Von Yip. They're blocking one of those two. Like, if I don't attack with Von Yip, then, you know, like, they just block River Shaper and kill that. And I wanted, I don't know, I wanted to be able to, like, you know, so I thought that one, one of them protects the other one. And as far as I know, that deck doesn't have any... Uh, Nexus healing, so we should be good with a couple of get excited. Um, and we go to attacks again. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, discarding the young witch. Hmm. The Flame Chomper's Challenger doesn't do anything. But um, the reason to not play Get Excited is them thinking that maybe they have six. Like, if I just play Get Excited right now, they know they're at three, and they know they have to kill both of these. Maybe if I don't play it, maybe they only kill one and let the other one hit them. And it just makes my life even easier with these Get Exciteds. If they would play, you know, if they play an Elusive, then, then I would change that. Then I would Get Excited, and then I'd have the Flame Chompers for the Elusive. Cordek, what do you you said you're 12 and 2? What are you 12 and 2 with? And climbing fast. What you playing? Ah, uh, Timo Swain. Timo Swain is sweet. Was that my previous version of Timo Swain, or did you make your own one? Or, you know, like did you change up some stuff? I know I I was trying like Timo Katarina and stuff also. Similar deck to that. All right, well, this is a deck that we are winless against, right? Yeah, Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Man, Trundle, Aurelian Soul, super popular. It looks like we're playing against this a lot. Well, that doesn't... Does it help me? Let's see... I need that Poro Cannon. I need that Poro Cannon. that Poro Cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run. Thought that was going to be their response. Yeah, 
That's a good turn. Good turn for them. Smash, smash. The eye of twilight sees all. Probably not gonna be very good for me. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Let's save this jury rig. We don't really need to play it right now. It must be done. Unfortunately, it's still gonna make that a 4-4 before Lulu levels up. You have to have Lulu level up first and then the support happen for it to be a 5-5. We're just looking at 4-4 four, four right now. Um, of course, I do have the Whimsy. So we could Whimsy this Troll Ravager. Can also Can I paint you? stand United as well. Um, I think this is a pretty good use of Whimsy. Is it? No, actually, no, it's not. It's just a 3-5. I know it regenerates, but still just a 3-5. Where... They can play some super scary followers. Like an Uzgar the Ancient. Something silly like that. Uh, so this would silence. And deal six. Um... That is the, yeah, that's the first thing they played this turn. How is this not? There we go. The king could go where they are needed. So doing this basically so that my Shen is at three out of four now with the barriers. Could just play like a new, could just let it die, play a new Shen. But now Shen's three out of four out of barriers, one. And then two, we do put another Shen into the deck. So that does give me a better opportunity of drawing another Shen. Well, that's good against like Ice Quake and Avalanche and stuff like that. Why is that not fast? Like, why is nothing? Why is nothing fast? Just can't deny anything. Okay. Um. Oh, I meant, oh, oh, I meant, I meant Shen to give the barrier to Lulu. Whoops. Oh, well. All right, cool. So, got the win, four and oh. You fought with honor. Yeah, I meant, I meant to do, you know, like, yeah, I just, I messed that up. I meant, like, Shen was supposed to support one with a barrier, and then the other barrier was going to go to the other small thing. That's, I was going to have both of my smaller things have barriers. 
I just messed that up. All right. Um, oh yeah, you're right, Kordak. You're right. Um, do I just quit and just rejoin? Yeah, Cordex, right. The rule's supposed to be that if we go 4-0 with the deck in normal for meme tier, then we play the fifth one over in ranked. That's supposed to be the rule. I guess I just quit and do that. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sorry. Oh, nope. Not exit game. Oh, they get some free XP. There we go. Okay. So, if we, um, yeah, that's like, like that's our rule with our meme tier Monday decks. That if we're doing really well with it and we went uh, four zero, then we give it the challenge of over and ranked for match number five. This looks like a pretty good start. I wish I had the attack token on turn one. Could actually attack for four on turn one. For three different units. Anything else? <laughs> the main question will be, should I play the Daring Poros? Or should I play like one drop and stuff, or do we just go straight to attacks? to attacks. I mean, this... I mean, Mega Rain wouldn't be that bad for me if they killed, like, a 1-1 one, one and a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, House Spider. I want to keep these Daring Poros in hand. See if we find Professor Vaughn. Yep. Good one. A house Spider and a Petty Officer. Those cards. Stop what I'm doing. Mortals and spirits falls to me. Hmm. So the Shen buff happened first, and then the Lulu buff happened after to make the 4-4. If these were um, going in the other order, they just have something block the 2-2 two -two instead of block the 4-4? Four -four? That doesn't make any sense. If those were going in the other order, then, you know, like we would put set Caretaker to 4-4 four -four and then give it plus 2, plus 0. So it would have been a 6-4. Does turn on plunder if they have plunder stuff. You'll fight or you'll swim. My father's blade. No. Nope. <sighs> it's 
My Lulu will level up, set to 5-5. Five, five. Shen dies. Petty Officer is so good. And basically, I'm trading Shen for Twisted Fate with this attack. They had a great hand, because obviously my hand was good. But it was pretty great with the house spider, double Water changes petty officer, the twisted fate, red card, and then removal spells. So we're gonna be trying to use progress day to look for Von Yip. And have Von Yip first. The few for these cannons. Can't you cost two mana? That's bad news. It does damage to the seven one. This can be very bad news. Please don't kill my seven one. Ooh, they weren't able to kill my seven one. Wow. Currents pull them down. Wow, we actually get to block. Wow, we got to block. A gift from the river folk. Well, that's pretty awesome. Hmm. So pretty sure I'm safe just to play the Lulu right now. No, we're in ranked right now. I, I feel like if they had things to kill stuff, they would have just killed stuff and let that Swain go through. Barrier of the Young Witch. There we go. Hmm. Get a pick. I'm going to wait a turn on the Professor Von Yip. I'm going to hold up this Deny. Kind of bad for us. Two worlds. 
one balance. Quite right, quite right. Of course, I don't want the the daring poros to be affected by the stun. So play cards like you know, like these other things that would get stunned, and that's okay. I mean, yeah, Whimsy doesn't really help that much. I right, deny that. My plan is to play this other Poro over the Lulu so that I can have a new Lulu and have new Lulu be able to pump up an elusive in case more die. And then the hope of these things, new Lulu, all that kind of stuff, hope, hopefully all of that, and then get excited. We can do seven damage. I don't think it makes sense to play the health picks yet. Whimsy on the ship doesn't matter. It's like a round start thing. It doesn't... My a Whimsy on the ship cannot stop. That. Down to three mana. So that taps him out. Um, so I can kill him in different ways. <clears throat> I can get excited the Spiderling and kill him with the Daring Poro, or I can get excited them and kill them with that. How, how should I kill him? Poro's won? All right, so we want the Poro's to win. Save the Poro. All right, saving the Poro. I don't know why that knocked. You know, they probably should have got Noctured Fervor on one of these large things, but. There we go. Save the Poro. Save the Poro. Save the world. That's a 5 0. Overall, 8 and 2 with different Lulu Von Yip decks. You know, you know, most of it in normal. Both of our losses coming against. Uh, Trundle plus Aurelian Soul, but we Everything did also beat true. Trundle, Aurelian Soul another time, and we also beat a Trundle deck, and we beat Aurelian, Aurelian Soul Braum. So we did beat all of those different kinds of decks. So there we go. This was a longer video, but we played two different Lulu Von Yip decks. Um, so those of y'all in the comments, let me know which one you liked more. Did you like the Vi version more? Did you like this version with Shen more? Um, you know, give them a try if you want to play some, some Poro Cannon and Professor Von Yip and saving them with Lulu and everything like that. They both worked really well. I, I did like how both of them worked. Um, you know, we got, we got ice quaked for a game, but 
Um, yeah, lots of lots of good stuff here. Lots of elusive damage that you can get, and pumping up these elusives. Um, you know, many ways. You know, with your daring Poro, it can be a three-three from your Professor Von Yip. It can be a four-four from your Lulu, or five-five. Um, I have to say I've been really impressed with Lulu plus Flame Chompers. That was something in both versions that was pretty awesome was Lulu Flame Chompers, especially whenever we got to go turn three, like one of the games, you know, go turn three Lulu and then they play whatever, you know, not expecting much because you're tapped out, but then you just go Poro Cannon, zero mana, discard your Flame Chompers and now suddenly they're like, oh no, they, like, they just played whatever to block Lulu and now you just get to challenge it whenever you're tapped out. That is pretty awesome, that combination. That's super powerful. All right, so that's Lulu Vaughn. Yep. A couple versions. Th those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And again, leave all those comments like I was talking about. I would really appreciate that. Let me know what you want to see on next week's Meme Tier Monday as well. That would be uh, cool as well. I would appreciate that. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Lulu Vaughn. Yep. And I'll see you for the next video.